Hey YouTube, what's up? In this video I'm going to show you guys how to put a little calendar, uh, so-called calendar thing, underneath your clock in your menu bar. So first of all, in the default Mac OS X, this is Leopard, as you can obviously tell by this point in time, um, there's, it's just, you know, your basic clock, and then if you click on it, it'll give you the actual date, January 16th. Um, I find that all the time I'm looking for a little calendar there, or I saw an actual thing on the unofficial app web blog about it, and I'm always looking for a little calendar or something there because I like to plan ahead a couple days, but I don't actually like to put in dates because I never can keep track of them. So I was looking around for an application. I just happened to come across my uh, iStat menus by iSlayer application, and I came across the fact that you can actually put a separate clock in with that calendar enabled. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So once you have it installed from iSlayer.com, you can go right in your iStat menus and you have all your preferences. This is actual iStat menus monitoring up here, CPU, memory, and my network connection. Um, and you can go right into your, what do I want? <laughs> date and time, there you go, all right. And then you can just click on show date and time. And when it usually defaults to about 12 as a font size, but I make it up to 14, and it's the closest you're gonna get to the original OS X clock. Um, and I configured it so the world clock is in Seattle and when you click on it you'll get a little nice little uh, calendar so called widget or drop down menu and options your world clock option to open date time and open iCal um, and you can go you can skip ahead and so it's really useful and handy but and one cool thing about iStat menus is that it's like the native and default OS X application uh, widgets I guess or elements or you know whatever you'd like to use for the term is you can hold down command click and drag it around on the menu bar so basically you can drag that over there command click on the default one this is the date and time from OS 10 and it disappears just like it would in the dock applet so there you go you have a nice regular clock no one no one with you know couldn't tell the difference and then you click on it and you get a nice little calendar thanks for watching